All right, so in this episode of the Sizzling Kitchen, we're going to be making a maple beef bacon burger. And of course, you need to start with beef. Mac Daddy of Knives, hold up, it's dirty. Give it a nice wipe, make sure it's always dry, you know what I'm saying? Mac Daddy of Knives, chop through the packet, you know what I'm saying? So now you empty the one kilo of beef into the dish. I've decided to put the rest of the ingredients in the description. Two eggs, but of course. You're gonna want to grate the three onions, but of course, why wouldn't you? And here's some ASMRs for the freaks that like that. <laughs> At this point, you want to add your half cup of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, a whole teaspoon of uh, white pepper. and a teaspoon of salt. All right, story time. There was this time in Uganda, I was sleeping at night. I heard someone running outside of the dog chasing him. So I went to the kitchen, grabbed a knife, went outside, and it was my household chasing an intruded dog. So I was just like, oh, I went back to sleep, end of story. And now for the grand finale, red wine. Put in as much as you like, try not to get drunk. Alright, time for a little unboxing. We got the Vagan Hamburger Press. Not vegan, you illiterate fool. Vagan. Perfectly circular to give you that perfect burger. And as you can see, it costs around 15 bucks. And my job today is to find out if it's actually worth it the money. So let's find out, shall we? And of course, what you all came for, not me, you came for the bacon. You know what I'm saying? You came for the bacon. I'm going to line this Fagan press with bacon and then I'm going to fill it with the beef mixture. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do make all the soundtracks for the Sizzling Kitchen. Takes quite a while, so uh, yes, I do appreciate a like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, but isn't that just satisfaction? There's always something about making beefy products that just makes it so satisfying. Mac Daddy of Skizzers, we're gonna chop off the excess bacon. So now this is where you apply some pressure till it becomes almost a perfect circle. And check this out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It looks pretty good, huh? You know what I'm saying? You can see my arms. Two types of skillets you could use. You could use the regular non-stick pan, or you could use a non-stick grilling pan. You put some butter up in this medium heat and then you twirl it. Make sure you don't scratch the pan, obviously. And you let the butter melt and once it's melted, then we'll be able to add our burgers. Make sure it's medium heat, by the way. You don't want to burn the burger. Take a look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that. The bacon's wrapped all around the burger. Just absolutely stunning. I can't wait to see how this will turn out. Then you preheat the oven to around 200 degrees centigrade. I used the grill pan, but it didn't really make much of a difference. So I'll just use whatever nonstick you have. I like to scoop up the butter and then put it on top of the bacon. And then just use your spoon to sort of swirl it around. As you can see, it looks pretty, pretty good so far. Look at that. Isn't that just satisfying? You hear that sizzling yo? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you hear that sizzling yo? After flipping it, put it in your oven. 
I knew you leave it there for around 10 minutes, it should be fully cooked at that time. It really depends on if you want it rare, medium rare, well done or overdone. At this point, it's completely ready. I'm gonna put it out of the oven and we'll see what it looks like. Are you ready for this? Anticipation? Mm -mm -mm, look at that man, you ought to have seen this looks so delicious, I can't wait to eat it, it looks so bacon -y. look at that, isn't that absolutely stunning, oh my goodness, if you like this, recommend this video to everyone that you know in the world! Alright, with a ready workspace, you can place your burger onto a cutting board and then We'll work on the bread. Alright, choose whatever buns you like. Big buns, small buns. There's buns for everybody. Mac Daddy of Knives, chop this thing in half. Place a little bit of ketchup or barbecue sauce onto your lower bun. And then you put some mozzarella cheese up in this, you know what I'm saying? Put some mozzarella cheese up in this. Next you're gonna place your meat onto the cheese. Nice and juicy. Now for the grand, grand finale. We're gonna put maple syrup, we drizzle it onto the meat. Syrup on meat. Cheese. Then you add some more cheese up in this, you know what I'm saying? You add some more cheese up in this, and now we're gonna put the top layer of bun onto the cheese. And then to the grill. I'm labeling this the rather more impatient option. So you drizzle a little bit of olive oil onto the grill, and then you can put your burger straight up in this, and then you leave it there for around two minutes. But if you want a better burger, I would get some tin foil and then I'd wrap it around the burger, put it in the oven. But I'd have to toast the bread first. You see, that's the catch. You put it in the oven at the same 200 degree temperature for around two minutes, and here's your result. Absolutely stunning, beautiful, and juicy. Look at that, man. You know what I'm saying? There'll be a link to the fries video at the end of the video. Make sure you check that out. Absolutely nice. Alright, let's try it. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely delicious. Check out how big this bite was, yo. You know, at the end of this, I ate so much, I almost died. You know what I'm saying? I ate so much, I almost died. Alright, time for the ratings. All right, so y'all, we've reached the part I like to call the Grand Sizzle Rating. This is where I rate the food that I have cooked and should you try it. So for the Yum Factor, this gets a 5 out of 5. Ease Factor, 3 out of 5. Zing Zing Factor, a 5 out of 5. And a price of 3 out of 5. Which means that overall, it gets a Grand Sizzle Rating of... Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. So freaking bombastic, my dude. This has been the Sizzling Kitchen, aka the coolest cooking show on YouTube. I'd like to shout out to everybody who subscribed, everybody who's helped sharing the word, and everybody you're watching. I do this, baby. Peace. Be sure to check out some of my other videos that are right here on the top right and top left corner. Alright, I'll see you. Bye bye.